so guys in this module we will going to discuss ip in ip encapsulation which literally means hiding in sight so what exactly ip in ip encapsulation means so in general encapsulation means hiding something in sight right ip in ip encapsulation means an ip packet is hidden inside an ip packet when you do ip in ip encapsulation then the protocol value in the ip header is 4 so the 4 is the identifier that actually ip in ip encapsulation is being happening so whenever a packet is subjected to ip in ip encapsulation the protocol value in the ip header will be 4 so you can see in the diagram on the right hand side it shows the logical view of ip in ip encapsulation so when IP in IP encapsulation happens, a packet has two headers. After Ethernet header, the packet has an IP header which is called outer IP header. And after the outer IP header, there is an inner header called inner IP header inside the packet. We will elaborate more on this further. For now, just understand that when IP in IP encapsulation happens, a packet has two IP headers, the outer IP header and the inner IP header. For a packet, the inner IP header and the application data together forms a payload. Encapsulation in networking is also called tunneling. We will see why it is called tunneling. For now, just understand that another name of encapsulation in networking is tunneling. So other variants of tunneling is IPv6 in IP encapsulation, which has a protocol value as 41, IP in IPv6 encapsulation, which again has protocol value as 4, and IPv6 in IPv6 encapsulation, which has a protocol value as 41. Now what all these terms means? So first is IP in IP encapsulation. That is IP packet inside an IP packet. This is called IP in IP encapsulation. IPv6 in IP encapsulation means the outer packet is IP packet and the inner packet is IPv6 packet. So this is IPv6 in IP encapsulation. Similarly, IP in IPv6 encapsulation means the outer packet is IPv6 and the inner packet is IP. And IPv6 in IPv6 encapsulation means the outer and the inner packet both are IPv6 packets. So in general, the encapsulation or tunneling here means that you have a packet and inside that packet, the payload part of the packet is actually another packet which in turn has its own payload. So we will going to discuss the IP in IP encapsulation in detail in this module. Now certain questions that crosses in our mind. Why actually do we need encapsulation? What problem does it solve? How does the encapsulated packet structure looks like? How encapsulated packet is treated by L3 router? That is what L3 router supposed to do when it receives encapsulated packet. So let us demystify encapsulation or tunneling in networking.